Welcome back to Conqueror Connections Tips and Tricks. We often get questions from our customers when they embark on long journeys, what sort of spares they should take with. Now while Murphy's Law states that anything that can go wrong will go wrong, it's virtually impossible to plan for everything. Today we're going to show you just a few crucial parts uh, that can get you through most of those things that can possibly go wrong. While it's always a good idea to have your trailer or your camper serviced before you go away on holiday, uh, it's also a very good idea to carry parts with you because anything can go wrong. Now, what I like to carry with me for my trailer is a spare set of wheel studs as well as wheel nuts, wheel bearings, and preferably you should have your wheel bearings in a sealed packet. Uh, you don't want dirt and, and dust to accumulate on these bearings and then when you need to use them, you can't. Very important also is you will need a spare oil seal or grease seal. This fits at the back of the hub. And then of course grease. Um, now there's different ways of carrying your grease with you. Some folks like to take a little jar of grease with them. Other folks prefer keeping it in a little sealed packet. I like the sealed packet because it packs nice and easy. It's out of the way, it's not bulky. Vitally important is to have a spare split pin for the wheel bearings with you. Now, if you buy a kit, these kits generally come with all these different items in it. Next, you'll need a castle nut, um, and that's to replace should you lose a castle nut out in the field. And then a grease cap. These things also from time to time do lose or go missing. Then for the coupler in the front, uh, I like to carry a coupler shock with me. You know, in extreme off-roading conditions, um, a shock like this can wear out quite quickly. So it's always a good idea to have a spare one with you. Boot, bellow boot. This is to prevent dust from entering into the coupler shaft area. The last thing you can carry are two small items. There's one is a buffer rubber. Um, and then the other is you'll need two of these little circlips. So if you ever do need to replace the boot and strip the coupler section of your van, uh, you will need these two items. So other parts that you can also take with you is a lot of odds and sods. I like calling them odds and sods. Things like bolts, nuts, those sort of things. Usually the bolts and nuts that you really do require is the bigger bolts, the stuff that you hold your coupler to your van, um, coupler shaft bolts, those sort of things. So it's always a good idea to have an assortment of different size bolts. Also a good idea, the small nuts and bolts. Uh, I just carry this in a jar, washers, uh, nylock washers, those sort of things. Um, as always, you will require fuses, and if you've got a charging system on your caravan, uh, you will need a fairly large 50 amp fuse as well. Also good to have with you is an extra heli plug, because sometimes things go, do go wrong with a heli plug, and seven pin plugs. If you're gonna do a lot of off-roading with your van, the chances are that this plug is gonna pull out is pretty good. If you haven't taken proper care of putting that plug away, you may need one of these two items. I went on a trip recently to Angola and we went through two of these plugs because they kept on getting caught on the, on the ground. Other things that you want to consider taking with you is a Brad Harrison plug, uh, electrical wire. There's always something that you need to wire up for the missus. Bungee cord to tie things down. Jockey wheel bolts or clamps. And if you've got a trailer, take a locking pad with you as well. Often what we do is, is when we hitch our trailer, we drop the jockey wheel and this locking pad comes out. Once the locking pad's out, it does a lot of damage to the jockey wheel and you'll probably end up having to replace that jockey wheel. Also good for electrical connections is taking a, an assortment of electrical lugs with you. Take the big guys for the thicker cables that you need to work with and the smaller lugs for some of the smaller electrical work that you might end up doing while you're on holiday. If you found this video helpful, Please don't forget to follow our Facebook page, Conqueror Connection, or YouTube channel, Conqueror TV, for more helpful tips and tricks.